in a daze in the Gold West pre-made division. We got ourselves an embassy hard point to kick things off. Timor, what are we seeing? I'm seeing fate with a first blood. He's representing the old guy as Texas. And speaking of, they're the first ones in the hill. And they're time here. And they're actually getting quite a few kills. As uh, Kim Pachi and Zark were able to find a couple. And they're just, uh, they're turning this P1 into a money hill, which is not the norm whatsoever. And, uh, they're going to try to maybe start pushing out some of these spawns. A big gunfight goes down between Tavia and Zark. Tavia comes out on top and gets traded out. And you've got Germ pushing out these P2 spawns. He's got a couple players to deal with. That's Jordan and looks like Moss. Let's see what he can do here, CNK. Yeah, the old guy's Texas team. It's kind of popping okay. off right now. I mean, 33 seconds on P1. They're about to grab P2 as well. <laughs> There's some demons over here at Team Org. I mean, Germ on a force right now. Looking to extend that one. Got a couple players to hunt down. Oh, gets another one there. But that's going to be, I think, Moss sneaking away just barely. But Germ still going to be a little bit annoying here. Just like Germ's in real life, right? But I tell you what, Germ now on a five. Up to 40 points for OGT. Not a single point given up. But Atlanta Day is looking to change that up. They're trying to get some points on this P2. But old guys, Texas still holding strong. They're able to keep this, uh, this little streak going here. They go up 46 to nothing. Just keeping the Atlanta Days pushed right off the map. We got a little bit of a uh, CRL parody match here. It's like the classic optic phase matchup. Yeah. Instead, we got the old guys versus the Days. And they're uh, so far living up to the hype. It's been a pretty good scrap fest so far. It just seems like the old guys are just winning most of these gun fights. And uh, they're, they're making really good use of that. 71 to nothing. I mean, it's looking like Atlanta Days on the road. Oh, they should be able to get some points here. Wow, wow. Ken Pachi picking up a big kill there. Loaded into a lobby by himself earlier. Y'all didn't see that. It did happen. I promise. But uh, you Atlanta Days those extra reps. They got to get them. I mean, got to feel out the map a little bit. Maybe that's an advantage to this team. But look at that. They get 11 wow. points. And just like that, OGT breaks on in. Ken Pachi on a four. F8 on a three. The whole squad of OGT absolutely frying right now. F8, you got to think. Maybe banned. Maybe banned. Maybe if he's <laughs> able to finally get picked up and he goes down and it's going to be the, uh, the old guys Texas actually blocking down the rest of that scrap time while the days are thinking about the next hill, which is pretty smart when you're down 90 points off the first couple of hills. You know, it's probably a good idea to maybe start thinking ahead a little bit. Maybe games going on and they're going to try to do just that, but they've got bait to deal with back here. Is he's gonna try to maybe snake the the open air and get some advantage. Try to push out this team, but you've got Jordan and Tavia able to get some big kills into that hill. So that's just gonna get those old guys spawning out just a little bit farther. Maybe get some more time on this hill. Big time here, very important for the side of Atlanta. They pick up a couple kills just like that. Old GT picking up the kills. They get on the point. Kempati with with the AR treating it like a sub. Kapachi still seeing alive right there. Needs some help from the teammates, but getting collapsed on by Atlanta Days. They pick up the kills. Zark gonna push in, gets taken down as well. Just like that, OGT wiped off the map. Atlanta Days picking up an important bit of time here. Still down by about 100 points or so. And the rotation to P5 slowly coming in from both teams here. Yeah, this could be a very big hill to uh, secure for either team. It's a big, big money hill. And so far, the Days are looking good. Is there up all those kills clear derm off that p5 so now we've got kimpachi through the back though with a nice two-piece to maybe secure those gas spawns for his team and it looks like he does so it's not looking great for the side of the days so they got to try to get a break here and they need it right now i mean the sub hill right now is just being absolutely dominated by ars this is ridiculous kimpachi and f8 using the ars just absolutely dominating the p5 so far Picking up some massive kills here for their team. Atlanta Days still trying to push this one in. Down by about 100 points once again. But look at F8 picking up some monster kills. Now on a 5 trick. He's 13 and 5 overall. Looking to extend that one out a little bit. Couple players pushing from Orange. Get some help from Zark. Gets a sub now in hand. Is taken down. Not going to get the streak there. The push coming in from Atlanta Days. are able to get the kills to get on the time. But Kenpachi pushing in with the AR. Picks up one. Almost gets the second. Mm. But finally a sub player's winning it. Finally. They're going to get that last little bit of scrap time, maybe, as Zark gets taken down. So flipping back to the P1 side, it's definitely not the rotation of hills that you would have wanted if you're the side of Atlanta Days. 
you're down a smooth 100 points, but you can definitely turn it around here. Just can't let the old guys turn this P1 into a money hill again. I feel like that was really big. They were able to grab a quick 34 points off the first hill, which is, I mean, it's about as much as you can ask for <laughs> off this hill. <laughs> right now, it feels like OGT just putting a brick on the gas pedal and letting the car steer itself. <laughs> I mean, we're up 180 to 61 right now. OGT looking very good. This P1, like you've mentioned a couple times, it feels like OGT has found a way to turn it into a money. There's not really anything Days can do about it. As I say, that must picks up two. Uh, Davi is going to push and get a couple as well. But still, not going to break open the OGT setup. Just like that, Skitty gets one, gets taken down as well. Now, OGT has to play for this P2, but Atlanta Days, you need a ton of time here, right? You need to turn this into the biggest money hill of all time. Try to get a full 60 here, but OGT slowly collapsing on this point. Yeah, they're going to try to maybe work a slow break here. It's, you know, they can afford to take some time and just really make sure that they get a smooth, clean break. And here comes the streak. It doesn't look like it found a kill. I think it found a trophy system instead. Classic model up there too. Cruise missile. This Moss is going to start picking that up. And so far, the days are doing a good job. They were able to get 20 seconds on the clock. Samas tries to get a two-piece with some nice damage down onto Faith, but here comes the break from the old guys, and it is clean. So they are now in the hill, crossing that 200-point threshold, and ooh, Kenfachi stopped shooting a little bit, and the drop shot cheese is good for Jordan as he's going to kill. Skeety's able to clean off the old hill, so it's going to stop the bleeding for now. And uh, the days are once again set up on new, but they just got to stop breaking. I feel like that's been the story of this whole game is the OGT just break when they want to. They really do, and I think a big part of that is that F8 really just does not miss shots. Wherever F8 shoots, people die, but just like that, the side of the Atlanta Days getting some big kills here over towards this P3. The massive kills actually get 3-4 down there on the side of OGT, and now they're getting some solid time on this point, but they're going to have to be careful because OGT is going to be able to collapse on this from all sides, pushing it from the front and the back at the same time here. F8 Going towards that back P5 to push this one out from above. Uh, gas side. Push going to finally be coming in. Atlanta Day is winning some of those gunfights, but Kampachi finds the way onto the hill, staying alive with a knife in hand. What is Kampachi doing? How are you still alive? What is happening right now? Atlanta Day's <laughs> ring around the rosy. Around we go. And Skeety gets the melee kill. And just like that, Atlanta Day is staying in. Yo. <laughs> oh God. That was... Uh... About as trolly as it can be over towards that AC side, but hey, Skeety wins the fist fight, and he's able to lock some time for his team. So the Atlanta Days, I mean, they've been they've been doing it. They they haven't been allowing the the old guys to get too much more time. They've been chaining these, hits. but now the old guys are set up. In the, uh, in the days though, they're breaking in. Jordan is able to get a trade, but he gets traded out. By so. F.A. and crew are nearby uh, in that dagger time as they get really close to 250. Really close indeed, OGT. I mean, look at you. two big kills right there. You see OGT holding this one down. Atlanta Day is trying to get a last second push in here to try to defend this one out. Four seconds, and this one's done, though. Atlanta Day is pushing in with three seconds to go. Make it one to go. 250 victory right there for OGT. And I tell you what, this team is firing on absolutely every cylinder possible. 250 to 133 victory. Yeah, that, that was just uh, some really textbook embassy hard points there, folks. So take notes because the old guys know how to break. Back in the days versus OGT, the SD well on its way. Moss with the sniper mid, going to get taken down. That is F8 gone off the map. Moss with the boomstick looking for another one. That's going to be germ by the yellow van there. The Insta B push does come in from Atlanta Days. They have the numbers advantage, and the bomb is going to go down. It goes down, and the retake comes through. The old guys make it fast, but they get cut down. You've got Jordan in the top 10 area, and the sniper in Moss's hands still holding it down. And he's able to stun that player. They know exactly where he's at. In the 1v2, the jump chow comes through, but the pistol is a little too strong with Moss. And he's going to be able to will his team to a first round victory. I'll tell you what, that pistol skin in Valorant costs like 20 bucks right now. Go get it. It's in the shops now in Valorant. Go go hit that up. <laughs> but uh, a nice little first round right there.
out of the boys here. So now OGT going to start down in the S&D. Our overall up 1-0 in the series. But Moss kicking things off with the sniper pistol combo. See if we can keep covering this mid-map. But OGT now going to have the bomb in hand, making their way over towards A. Kind of a classic push here we see pretty traditionally. Atlanta Day is going towards B right off the bat. Was a little sketch. But now we are going to see Speedy, the most pushed out player for Atlanta Days, maybe be able to make a play. That's two kills for the side of Atlanta Days. And just like that, OGT collapsing at the moment. Yeah, they are absolutely getting punched in the mouth by Atlanta Days right now. I really like the movement on the map out of them. Because they're just going to push these cuts out. They know they got Germ down in this bottom green area. And that's going to be Tavia able to pick him up. So now it's all up to Kempachi. He's got the bomb in hand. But it's a 1v3 situation. I'm pretty sure they have his every move watched right now. And yeah. George Jordan's going to tap him up and get away. But Tavia finds the kill. So that is going to be another round on the board. And they're looking good right now. They're playing really confident. No, is Atlanta Day low-key in s and I'll tell you what. Maybe that's what we were missing out on in the hard point. They don't excel in the mode. But it's currently up 2-0. -oh. Nice little start to the second map here. Nice bounce back from how map 1 ended. But now OGT back on the defense. We'll see if Atlanta Days decide to do anything a little bit cheeky once again. Go towards B. Maybe they go towards A. Either way, that should force the OGT players to split up a little bit. Going to send one towards B, three players towards A, but the Atlanta Days moving their, <laughs> moving as fast as they can over towards A. Going to get a couple, couple players in green very quickly. OGT, I want to try to counter this. We're going to see Zark pushed up pretty far here, ready to try to make a play. Yeah, Zark's in a nice position. <clears throat> he can play his life. He may be able to find a free one if he's going to get some damage. <clears throat> Sorry, got a little foggy, but the... Uh, <laughs> Zark is actually going to be able to make it out, and uh, no players died just yet. You've got a minute left to work with, and there goes George. He's able to find the first and the second blood. Big kills from him as Zark's going to get a free one, and he gets a nine. He's going to even it out. 2v2 situation. The bomb is down right on the bomb site, so they know exactly where it's at. And, uh... It's going to be looking like a little B rotation here from some of these players. I mean, these Maybe. players right now hunting each other. F8 was just kind of pushing through B to hunt down the number two player, Moss. Going to swap I mean, things out. Zark there. also hunting. Zark hears something, sees something, doesn't quite know what's going on there, but that's going to be Jordan missing some shots just barely. I mean, hit a couple. They, Didn't hit they the plant the bomb. The kill. They're going to grab this bomb over on A. The bomb starts getting planted. OGT going to be rotating back over. First one on the site is going to be Zark. He's going to get Moss very weak here. Oh, Moss no. tries to go for the snipe. That would have been absolutely chaotic if that hits. <laughs> oh my. There's a world out there. The boomstick is locking it down. And that was just a really hectic round there towards the end. It seemed like these players, they were just playing Ring Around the Rose. Maybe Duck Duck Goose and Red Rover all at once. But it's oh, Moss no, Red Rover. <laughs> with a nice 3 and 0. Oh. He's got the boomstick in hand, so do not chow this man. The chow is on. Uh, Jordan 4-0, Moss 3-0. Also, Tavia 4-2. This Atlanta Day squad absolutely frying in the S&D OGT. Back on the offense, have to try to make a play. Looks like they're going to rush on over to A. The typical push here. Atlanta Day is going to counter this with three players and one watching over mid. We see the initial nades and stuns hitting from both teams here. Going to be the first kill in favor of Tavia. Nice little first blood there. OGT now down a player. Make it a second as well as Skeety with a return there. Germ going to try to get a pick here on Skeety. Nice little trade, but still down a player. Yeah, still down a player. You got a 3v2 situation. And so far, it's been the Jordan and uh, Tavia show, but Moss is also 3-0, so I guess you can't really count him out so much. But they're just going to lock down this objective. They know that they've still got old guys nearby. So they're just going to try to maybe stop a plant here. This germ's going to go ahead and cross the to the bomb. He's going to start putting it down, but he gets tatted up and Tavia finds a kill. They jump on him, and that is the round. And the Atlanta Days are looking really good in this search and destroy. 4-0. I think, yeah, that makes Tavia 7 and 2 as well. Tavia frying right now. Look at that. The plays out of the Vaznev player there. I tell you what, Team Morg, I think the Vaznev does need a nerf. I I mm. could agree, you know. I mm. as as an AR player <laughs> myself, I tend to agree that that thing is busted. Um well, too so let's broken. just go let's just go ahead and get that out. 
Um, bring in the MP7, and uh, we'll oh. just move on. That would be wild, but Atlanta Days on the offense again, getting very aggressive through green right now, but FA gets Ooh. one, gets two. That's going to be a great start to the round Dude, for OGT. Can they continue it? It's going to be Jordan and Moss. Two players who have not died on the map yet. The only ones, that is. In a 2v4, if they can win this one, I tell you what, it'll be one for the ages. That's going to be a nice pick there out of Moss on Kimpacha. Pachi, sorry. <laughs> but look at this. One player going to be laying down. Yeah, they've got Zark in the corner over here. He's laying down bicycle. It's a little little sneaky spot, but Jordan's hitting him with the clayster cheese. Dead silence is popping right on his head, and the 360 comes through. But Zark is able to find the kill. Now you've got Moss left in the 1v3 situation. He's got four kills, so you might think he could just play for a streak here. But then... Uh, it's not going to be very easy of a task either way. He's going to try to maybe spot one, and he finds it. So now he's got five kills. He's going to keep playing his life. He knows that there's a player over towards that B side. Maybe just try to rotate over here. See what we can see. Yeah, Mons has a chance to go grab this bomb, I guess. Not enough time to plant or anything, but you're going to maybe get a chance to kill Zark. Pull the sniper! What are you doing? The boomstick hits, and just like that, you get a cruise missile. Not enough time to win this one overall, but what the heck? Moss is an absolute monster. Jesus. Yo, that was I the quickest we had of phase fakey in the house. My bad. Yeah. My load. He was able to pick up a nice little quick scope. Got the streaks there. 6 and 0. Oh, doing his thing. So back over on the attacking side. Looking like we're going to get a beat. It now, guys, they're pulling one out of the Days' textbook here. But maybe the Days are a little uh, privy to this info as they kind of rotate it a little bit. You've got Jordan nearby, who does come out with Moss, so they definitely know now. He's going to try to put it right in the window, hits it right on the rim. Hate to see it, and they've got all the info. Bomb is going to start going down. Now you've got a 4v4 retake once again. Yeah, 4v4 inbound, but you've got Moss on your team. You got the walking kill streak with you here. You see Atlanta Days on the retake. Couple players pushing in from that back alley side. Moss coming from mid. Gonna get sunned out. Germ with the opening pick. Tavia trying to push him to get a trade here. Can't quite find the player. Gets it. That's gonna be a kill from Moss as well, but F8 with the trade. Now gonna be a 2v2. Oh. The bomb defuse coming in. Jordan with a little bit of a ninja here. Oh, and he is he gonna go down, it. and just like that, it's GG. What? My load. He was able to defuse the bomb, puts it up 5-1. You gotta think everybody on the guys Texas just face palmed as uh, they were able to allow that defuse to come through. You hate to see it. That's gonna be a, another round on the board for the side of the days. And uh, you know, CNK, these guys are pretty good at search. Get the eye, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, they're up 5-1 right now. Atlanta Dazed. I tell you what, I wouldn't want to play these teams any day. But especially the Atlanta Dazed in S and D. They grab that bomb, go towards B. They delayed the, the grab just a little bit. Just gonna throw the timing off a little bit there. We see initial little bit of a gunfight going down towards B. So that's gonna let OGT know what's up. The five player gonna be massive. Never mind. Jordan just gonna immediately take F8 and yeet you off the map. Wow, that was a really good read there from Jordan. He's able to just feel that player walking over to him. He's going to get spotted out. He's able to get away, but he's chasing the kill. He's hungry for it. He doesn't get it. His germs are going to be able to pick him up. So now it is up to Moss and Jordan once again to maybe try and pick up the pieces of this round. Moss is going to pick up a vast nev. He's a little more lethal on the map now. But you've got Zark and a Kreddy once again. And he's just got a player right above him. Jordan might have just lost a little bit of fool. As now it's all down to Moss in the middle of the map. Still got the boomstick though. Boomstick in hand. We've seen what Moss can do with the boomstick. I'll tell you what, I'm excited to see the future of this one, but five seconds or so remaining. Moss is trying to hunt down Zark right now, but Zark nowhere to be seen. Hiding on the other side of a wall right now, being nice and sneaky. Letting the teammates know what they can hear. Moss spots it out, but guess what? Zark gets the kill and OGT winning another round. Still down by quite a bit, but getting themselves to the second round there. Getting caught up a little bit, but Atlanta Day is definitely still in the driver's seat here. And in the driver's seat they are, and 
The old guys uh, got to do a lot of work if they want to try to pull the second map out of the hat. So they still need four rounds to walk away with the dub. And they cannot allow a single one to go to the side of their buddies over here. And it's a little bit of a feels bad right now for Kempachi. He's a uh, 0-6 right now. He's sport a mm -hmm. donut. So maybe uh, get, send some prayers out to him in the chat. And we can uh, move <laughs> them up to the breadstick club here shortly. As the old guys Texas are going to try to bang out B once again. And that's Germ with a big first blood. Yeah, getting the seventh kill as well for Germ there. The bomb should be going down towards the B side here momentarily. It's about to get planted. The bomb goes down. Atlanta Days now have to play the retake with a little bit of a numbers disadvantage, but something tells me they're going to be very good at it. They start to push towards that dark hallway. F8 going to get stunned out, trying to throw an aid to cover the back. Kampachi getting the breadstick on the board. The big first kill. Tavia back alley gets taken down as well. Last player alive is Moss. I like these odds. Make it a 1v3. Yeah, uh, he was able to just peel the forehead off of that player. That was Zark. And he's going to try to maybe hit some rotations here. But cool. once again, you've got an old guy's Texas player just holding down that pinch. So they're going to get another round on the board. 5-3. I mean, they're doing it. They're doing it. OGT changing their strategy up just a little bit. They changed it from not getting kills to getting kills. I like that strategy. There you go. That's just a decent <laughs> strat change. It's a good one right there, but uh, OGT. <laughs> yeah, Vince Lombardi some, over here. He's winning some big rounds here. <laughs> still down, though. Still down by a few rounds here. Atlanta Day still on that, that game point. They win this round. They win the map. I think it's back up one-to-one -one if they get that. Looks like they're going over towards A, the El Clasico there. But OGT going to chow two players over towards B, waiting for that push to happen. F8 oh, it's getting picked off here. But we're going to see Kampachi picking up one big kill to help out the team. They're getting a second one there as well, looking for the third up top. Not quite going to spot that one out, but a Jordan and Tavia in a 2v4. 2v4 situation. You got Tavia and Jordan. Let's see what they can do here. The bomb is down, but they're able to retrieve that. They are pinned in this greenhouse, so maybe they can try to bait out a kill here from one of these players. Maybe find Kempachi or somebody being a little too zealous, but the shots from Kempachi are clean, and uh, they're able to clean up the rest of those players there in the house. So once again, the old guys Texas slowly inching their way back. So they have to continue to play perfectly from here on out if they want to try to move it to a 2-0 series count. This is a tough team to play perfectly against. OGT getting it done right now. But Atlanta Days, you got to think. They'll find that weakness once again. They've been doing it. But shout out to OGT. You're winning a couple rounds in a row here. You got to keep going. Atlanta Days, though, I still got faith in these guys closing out the game. They're going to be on the defense. We see OGT grabbing this bomb, going towards B. I've seen more B hits in this, ma this match alone than I've seen pretty much like the entirety of casting this game. <laughs> and now we are going to see one player over here. That's going to be a kill from Tavi on the other side of the map. Massive opening first blood. But Skeety to be in this warehouse waiting for these players to push up. Yeah, it just got that much harder for OGT as they lose Germ to Tavia. And they're just kind of turtled up right now outside of the 10 area waiting on one of the players to maybe make a mistake. But they know good and well that if they just stay backed up and they... Old guys come to them that they can cover this bomb site with no effort. They're doing just that. As you can see, they've got a lot of angles picked up. And you've got that number three player in Tavia starting to move around the backside. The pinches may come through. The gunfights take off. That is uh, Moss finding one before he is traded by Zark. So now you've got a 2v3 situation and Zark gets taken down by Skeety. So now it's all up to fate in a 1v3 situation for the map. 1v3 is going to be lost. Shout out to the Skitty for the big win over there to make it a 1v3. And Atlanta Days just like that. Close it out 6-4. to four. Tying the series up 1-1 one to one in teamwork. I tell you what, Atlanta Days is quite the S&D team. Yeah, they were looking really good there. And uh, even the rounds that they were losing. Back, we got ourselves an OGT versus Atlanta Days Hotel Control for you here. These teams ready to go. Tied up 1-1. One to one in the series. Let's see what we can get. Skitty opening up with an opening kill. But immediately going to get traded out by Germ. Yeah, Germ's able to find one, but Moss finds two. He's going to start uh, holding the line over to his objective as OGT starts to make their journey onto that site, and they're going to do just the three kills. 
and uh, force Atlanta Days back into their spawn here. And uh, Days is going to start circling the hill, maybe try to stop this here to get some nice bad shots from Edie. Jordan's able to find one on the pinch, and now the, the break starts to come through for the Days as they find three. As you can see all those OGT put spawning over towards the B side. We've got Tavia in a nice position to stop a push here, but he gets picked up by Fate before he can get anything done. So now you've got a three stack on the B point, and this is looking a little rough. It's all up to Speedy. I mean, look at OGT pushing this one on in, about to secure the B point, but Tavia pushing in, picks up some monster kills, big kills from Atlanta Days across the board, but you got to think the rotation from OGT over towards A is going to be inbound. Moss and Skeety got to try to win these gunfights on the Roto. Moss can be the first one there. Skeety trying to hold mid. He's going to get shot up quite a bit. Skeety going to lose that one out. Moss going to lose as well. So the A point should be captured momentarily from Zark here. But the B push should be coming in shortly. But Atlanta Day is on a good side up to defend it for now. Yeah, they've got a couple players uh, pushed over towards that bedside. And that is the holding that B objective is you can basically just clean wipe it every single time but they've all they've already given up two ticks though so they've got to play perfect for the next minute 20 if they want to walk away with a round win and uh, that's a little difficult to do here on hotel especially when you got players like deep back in your spawn Kempachi able to find one off the hill before he's picked up by tavia so now it's uh one player on they get wiped off as well skeety's gonna find him some team shots for moss as Fate is still just running around in the backside. Germ gets picked up, but Fate's there. They got the clock stopped and the ticks start to come through. Tavia is still in the clutch position. Got a reload. Not able to get it done as Kimpachi finds him. And he's going to start to work towards that objective. And so far, the days are doing a good job of forcing them. And they're able to just constantly wipe them off the hill. And they're doing their thing, CNK. I mean, they're, they're playing really well right now. Atlanta Day is playing very well right now. Love to see it out of these guys here. But OGT going to have one last chance at a push. Oh, a Atlanta going to have a good setup. They're ready to, ready to go on this one. Geez, can't talk today. Death Fate with the opening pick for the team to try to open things up. But they're going to start losing some players over towards mid. OGT going to have to make a move here soon. Only 20 seconds or so remaining. Four lives for the team. Atlanta on the setup. Tavia going to be the most pushed up. Well, not the most pushed up player, but the pushed up player close by. FA with one, two right there over by that help desk. Gonna be a couple more players to beat. Sark with one. Last player gonna be Jordan. Gets taken uh -oh. down. The stack gonna be fully active. Jims would say stack the point. The B point almost gone. And just like that, Atlanta dazed. Gonna lose the round as OGT take it. Yeah, OGT. It only takes one wave of kills. That right there is fate. Able to get a little trolley to a piece. Didn't really realize he was right on players like that, but. That was for the map there. Get some nice shots onto his teammate for good measure. And uh, that's a that's a really good round of uh, control there from the side. I mean, honestly, both teams were playing really well. It's just the uh, OGT was able to capitalize in the end. So let's see what Atlanta Days can do. They're down six ticks. So they've got to try to win this round here if they want to be able to stay competitive and control. Yeah, Atlanta Days trying to push on over to that eighth. A little bit of an easier one to capture, so a lot of teams like to push that first, but they pick up most of the kills here early on. Only one player staying alive, I believe that was Zark. Check it up. The side of Atlanta Days, yeah, they're getting that stack ready to go, but they're picking up some big kills over towards mid as well. Shout out to Jordan for the nice pick there. But Jerm, going to push this A side. It looks like they're just going to play for a couple picks over here. Not going to try to counter this one out. There's no point in that. Jerm gets the opening pick over there. Looking for another one by chance. Stays alive in mid. 12 and 6 right now, by the way. Nice little double positive there. Atlanta Days now able to focus on the B point. Two minutes and 29 lives, so plenty to work with here. Yeah, they've got a whole lot of time on the clock. They've already got a couple players leaking through the backside of the clock. They're to find one on the face. So he's going to be able to uh, poke holes in that defense there as they get us another nice trade. So now they've got good position around that B objective, but there's those two players in the bedroom side that you got to deal with. As Moss is putting a lot of shots down, doing some big damage onto OGT. But it's up to Zark to try and maybe get in here and uh, clear these players off. And they're going to start doing just that. But the, the side of the Atlanta Days, they were able to clean out their their bedroom for a second. But you've already got Germ replacing that uh, that player up there. He's 14-6 and six right now, just having a map. This is not looking great for old guys Texas. 
starting to spread their defense out. I mean, OGT with a really nice four-man down there a little bit ago to white. Going to clear out their spawn once again, clear out that B objective and retake their map control. But now, Atlanta Day's off a of spawn, trying to make a play, but F8, he's going to take down two of them. You see Jordan getting one there on the return. Atlanta trying to make a play here. Jordan, that's going to be Moss right in front of us here. Going to pick up a big one there. Going to get on the time. Just be a little bit of a distraction. One player top bedroom, though. That's going to be fake. And Pachi going to help out with that. Oh, nice help from everyone on the board here on OGT. But Atlanta Day is going to have another couple pushes here. Maybe one or two. They got one. That's going to be Skeety, who's going to be massive. The kill's going in favor of Atlanta up front there. Zark going to trade one. Skeety going to help out here. Going to try to get that player Zark in the middle over by couches. Not quite able to get it yet as they back off towards that spawn. Yeah, Zark's doing a little bit of hunting here as F8 was able to help him out. Got one player able to get into that B objective he just picked up. Moss is going to find one. But you still got Ken Kachi and the crew to deal with as they are just really dug into this B objective. So the Atlanta Days still down three ticks. They need a miracle here to take this round as they're going to get one opening kill. They've got the clock clock for now. Skeety can find a kill here. It could be huge. Tavi is able to find one. And Germ is now all that's left for the defense as he gets picked up. So now you got F8. He's going to try to do what he can to slow this push down. Any kills here would be massive. He's able to get one. So Moss has got the clock stop, and there you go. Atlanta Days are able to take the attacking round as well. I mean, they didn't even get a full wave of kills until uh, until they were already on the objective. I tell you what, shout out to Atlanta, right? You're basically getting spawn killed there for what feels like a minute, right? It just feels like it's forever. You're kind of losing lives nice and slow. Trickle down, but then they have a nice play. They get pushed on in there. They pick up the kills they need. They get on the objective. And they guess what? They stack the point. Word the gyms, right? You got to stack that point. It's very important. But shout out to Atlanta Days. Tying it up one to one. But doing it by getting all six ticks to tie those ticks up with OGT. Going into that third round now. Atlanta going to get a chance to reset on this defense again. Maybe get themselves in the lead. Yeah, that was a really good work there from Days. They're going to try to work their way back into this map here. They got to get on this defense here quick, though, as Old Guys Texas are already pushed into that A objective. They've got a couple players pushed up on the map. They've cut down some waves of this defense. Zark does just that as he finds Skeety over towards that single arch area, but he gets traded out by Jordan. So the final tick does close out on A. It's 29 to 27. You got 2 minutes 10 to work with. And the old guys Texas are going to start the trek across the hotel, try to get to that B objective, but they're going to have to get it through Moss and this dirty, dirty head glitch. Man, the dirty, dirty head glitch indeed. Moss ready to go on that one, but OGT trying to get a nice slow push here. A point obviously completely gone. One life down for OGT, two, sorry, three down for Atlanta. Now, a couple of kills coming in. I say a couple. It is just one. Make it two now. Stavia and Jordan going to pick those up. Jordan staying alive down below by that mid bar. We're going to have a little bit of a sticky situation now that people are going to know where they're at. F8, though, pick up a big kill there to open things up a little bit. But Moss uh, behind the desk picks up one, picks up a second big kill as well. And just like that, Atlanta Days doing a good job on this defense. One more to beat. That's Kampachi opening things up a little bit. Yeah, Kampachi able to beat the snakes and the stun there. Oh, but the self simtex does come out. He's able to dodge it. No big deal. He's going to try to get into the map as his teammates are starting to get pressure onto that B side. Stopping the clock for now. But Moss is going to retake that reception area. Or oh, sorry, that was Zark who's stopping the clock. And uh, that's going to be Moss with some nice shots once again where he gets taken out by the nade. So you've already got a tick and a half over towards the B side. One more tick to deal with. And this is looking like the OGT could close out this round right here if the days don't get a move on. Yeah, days just uh, don't even push at the end there. They kind of, yeah. I mean, it's mm -hmm. tough. Obviously, every yeah. angle was kind of covered. So OGT, they win that one. They get all six ticks. It's a big round win right there. But days, I think that maybe they thought they had a little bit more time. They were waiting on maybe like a mid hit or something like that from their team. But yeah, accidentally mess up the timing. It happens, right? I mean, I do it all the time in ranked. I'll tell you what. I'm not the best <laughs> player, Timor. I do, I do a lot worse than just that. I'll tell you what. Ooh, and it's looking like we may have lost a player there. Oh, who we lose? Who so, we lose? I could do it too. It makes it tough. Map. The restart has happened. Atlanta Days versus OGT. OGT currently up two-one in the map right now. 
also up in the series. Well, I say up in the series. It's one to one. But the kill's going back and forth. Atlanta Day's trying to push this B set out right away. They're going to get on. The stack is active. Stack the point word to Jim's. Jern getting the first one here to respond. Gets taken down. And just like that, Atlanta Day is looking pretty good on the restart. They are. They're getting a lot of those kills. But Fate is doing work with Baznav on the backside. He's got Zark helping him out through the front. That's a clean wipe off of B, but the damage is done. Two ticks over there. They're going to be really happy that they got those as they transition over to that side as Tavia wins a nice gunfight on that A objective. So the stacks are going to start to come through, and uh, Old Guys Texas are looking like they're mostly going to give up that A objective as the take starts to come through. Actually, they're going to go ahead and try to poke it one good time. Jordan finds the timing, but he gets traded out immediately in fate. And a wipe and clean, but uh, you've got all of Atlanta Day spawning up in that kitchen area, so they're gonna be there. And it's up to old guys to try and pin them back in that spawn. I can tell you what, fate starting right where they left off, already up to seven and one on a five streak. But one player trying to sneak through over to B that is gonna be Skeety. Skeety, though, getting sniffed out by Kenpachi. Kenpachi not wanting this one to go down. Skeet gonna cross onto the objective. Kenpachi shutting that one down. Still some gunfights going on over towards the A side of the map, but. Atlanta Day is trying to focus over towards B, knowing they've got one tick over there, two on A. And these, some kills going back and forth overall, for the most part, in favor of OGT. But as I say that, Atlanta going to get the kills they need. Going to get on the B objective once again. Two players on, a couple more players close by. Zark in the middle of the map has to get some of these kills. Going to get one on the close stairs. Gets a little bit of help there to get that kill. A couple more players to beat here. As OGT trying to push this objective back in. We see Germ from up top, a couple players from down below, but the kill's still in favor of Atlanta Days. They there secure is. the point, and the rotation to A going to be coming in shortly. Yeah, the rotation is in, and you've got old guys are there first. So they're going to start snacking up that point themselves. Trying to push these guys deeper back in that kitchen area. you got Germ's first man up. He finds traded out. So now you've got Kempachi and crew back behind the A point. They're going to just wait these players out, try to get them to walk in. To their uh to their team shots here but uh it's looking like the atlanta days are turning the tables on him a little bit zark tries to find a two piece but jordan is able to pick it up instead and now the stacks come through on a and that is a point secured so now we got us a round cnk well um technically everything is tied up two to two um, everyone's tied up completely in ticks because every single round win was an offense and they always got six ticks Technically, I'm it's gonna put kill, OGT huh? on on offense right here But they should be on defense because of kills from the previous reset and now combined because they were up a lot of kills But mm. I don't think they care So we're gonna no, go and push out. Like they're just gonna play it yeah, I mean, I why mean, not? Right? Offense has really been the first offense. time. Might as well play it out. Yeah. So they're going to start pushing out that A objective. It's going to be OGT striking first as German Fate are going to be able to find the kills. Make that two for Fate. So now it's pretty standard, except you've got uh, one player is on that B objective. So you've got a double snap situation. But Germ finds a nice two piece trade. And uh, that's going to be. A little bit of pressure still towards that B side as the members of Atlanta Days try to hunt those players out. You got Fate pushed up. He gets another two piece. And he's absolutely doing work in the spawn of the Atlanta Days and they're just making it really hard. As, uh, both objectives are still just getting wound down, CNK. I mean, it seems like they like offense. They do indeed love their offense, but I mean, the side of OGT doing a good job here. They're going to secure that eight point. And now they're on B as well. Kenpachi trying to fight this one off. Got a couple teammates to help out. But Atlanta Day is able to get three kills there. That's going to be big to help him out. But guess what? Fate's alive. Not the person you want to see at all. That's going to be that's going to be Skeety winning a big one there. Trying to push this one through. But two minutes left. 23 lives for OGT. Plenty of time to make a play here. Atlanta Days, though, trying to push out this defensive side. Give themselves plenty of buffer. Doing a good job getting some damage and kills on the board, though. Yeah, Tavia is able to find that player top bed. So he's going to be able to make it a little more difficult for those guys in OGT as Fate tries to do a little movement, a little shot spot there. Not going to work out for him. Moss finds a two-piece with a nade before he uh, gets traded out by Zark. So now old guys are playing it a little slow. They're up four lives. They get a minute with. They're just going to get two ticks on this B objective. And they can call this map theirs. 
getting close to this one. Atlanta Days, though, doing a good job on this defense so far, holding it down. Down only three lives, so nothing crazy. A minute and 12 left. OGT taking it nice and slow, but Fate going to sneak through. Zark getting a nice opening pick, but it is going to be a nice trade on the map as Jordan takes down F8. Jordan going to get another one as well. Jordan popping off right now. And Bachi in the middle of the map. Looking like they're going to die as well. There could be a four-man wipe if they get this last kill. Not quite able to get it, but still regardless, a big push out from Atlanta. Days Moss with another two right there on the spawners, but F8 trying to push this one in. I say F8, Fate, everything. You know what we're saying? Every name in the book, but 12... V12 total here. I don't know if OGT will get a chance to use all these lives, but still trying to push this one in, getting some nice consistent kills. They get three on the board, one more player to beat. That's going to be Moss in the back spawn. These players from OGT trying to push up. You got to deal with Moss. Oh, the nice head glitch out of Kenpachi. He's going to be able to take Moss down as the first player up for the days. The stacks do start coming through, but two players go down for the side of OGT, and the ticks do come through. So OGT comes away with the map. A little bit of a reset cheese going on, but hey, they got the map. Seemed like they were really comfortable here on this. So uh, they're going to move up in this series. Two games. Okay. <laughs> Zarqua Hydroelectric right here. We got OGT versus Atlanta Days. OGT currently up 2-1 in the series. Atlanta Days trying to fight for their life, trying to get to that map five. But OGT trying to get a little bit of an early start here. Get a two for two trade on the map. OGT going to grab the time. But Atlanta trying to play for those spawns. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that as you got Skeety doing a little bit of swimming. He puts some shots down to Kimpachi. Gets picked up by Germ. Some nice uh, team shots there. Able to finish him off. So now you've got the uh, the days trying to mount a break onto this P1 and they're gonna get it done. But they've got a lot of work to do still as uh, you've got the old guys next that's already set up for P2 and they've just cut everybody down. Oh no, right. well there they go. <laughs> Able to pick up that last player. So now you've got Atlanta spawning in Narnia, trying to make their way over to this P2, and it's looking pretty nice so far for the old guys. Boss always with a crispy shot. Those get taken down, though, by Germ. Germ trying to hunt this last player down over towards Dome. I say last player, last player on this side of the map. The other two trying to push up from Broken. They're going to get a little bit of reinforcements from Moss, who did just respawn. OGT going to spawn out towards that P1. Got to be careful with these back spawns, but going to go up to that 40 point mark. They're going to be up by about 30. Still picking up some of these kills as well. This P2, definitely a big money hill. Easy to pick up some massive kills here. Kimpachi was two big kills in the middle of the map. Going to start to hit maybe a little bit of a rotation. Try to push out that P1. And OGT looking good on the hard point so far. Yeah, they're they're just back to back to the basics here, you know, just kind of keeping the momentum for map one. They're a really solid hard point team, but right now Atlanta Days does have the preferred spawn, so old guys are gonna have to cross the map here. And, uh, Atlanta may be able to get themselves back into this objective. This isn't the easiest hill in the world to hold, but it is possible. So uh, old guys are gonna start spreading the map a little bit. Fate are picked up one onto Tavia. It's going to make it just that much easier as he finds a two-piece. But Moss is going to find one. And now the flood comes through for the side of old guys. And Fate left all alone as his team gets picked up. And he gets picked up as well, trying to swim in the water. But the back spawns do come through for at least most of old guys' Texas. So they're going to try to break in through this hard point once again. They're able to clean it off. He and crew are all that's left on the hill. Moss find one he's gonna start locking it's Kim Pachi that's able to trade him out so still it's gonna remain white for the second as Skeety starts holding it down he's working on streaks at the moment he's got five kills he's gonna jump down there's the sixth so he's got a cruise missile to work with but you can see on the mini map we're on rotation but some nice shots Moss there are able to kill the player jumping across so he's gonna actually lock down spawns for his team and we've got us a contest here yeah, contest indeed is Atlanta Days on the rotation. It'll be a massive hill over towards P4. Cruise missile inbound. Watch out. That thing's going to come at you out of nowhere. Skitty going to call that in, using it over towards the objective. Picks up a kill there. Big one to help open things up a little bit, but Germ staying alive on this hill. Going to get a couple players from the back. That's going to be Skitty going to go over towards that power rock. Now, only 40 point difference here as Atlanta trying to make a little bit of a comeback, but Fate not going to let that one happen for free. Picks up two Ooh. kills on the objective. Going to play from a little bit of a side angle. There's OGT trying to push back up here. 
25 seconds remaining. You've got to think more about the Roto here, but they're going to grab that last 20 seconds of scrap as the rotation of P5 also going to be happening at the same time. Look at the kills. OGP is getting Skeety, trying to get a little bit of a trade. Gets one before going down. Germ with some nice shots. And stuff. Yeah, and there's some really good shots able to find that trade there. They're going to go ahead and give up that last seven seconds to the Atlanta days as they got to now trick back across the map. Old guys were able to flip the spawns. You can see Germ already pushed out in that P1. He's able to stagger the defense or the offense just a little bit to make it that much harder. As now Moss and boys are trying to make their way across the map. Kampanji locking down time for now. Some fortunate timing. And that's going to be a pretty easy break for the Atlanta days. But they've got a lot of members of OGT to deal with still around the hill. So it may not be over just yet. You can see uh, Fate and Kampanji getting right in there. And that's going to be Germ going to be able to go ahead and lock that time down. There's 30 seconds left on this hill, so a whole lot of time left. Not necessarily scrap, although these players are kind of starting to treat it that way. As you can see, they're starting to kind of push out the other side of the map a little bit. And Kampachi and Zark are going to go ahead. And uh, with that 50-point lead here, it just seems like all old guys do is just maintain. And they're getting a lot of big kills here as well, but Skeety going to answer with two big ones of his own. He's trying to make sure they can secure this P1, P2 side of the map, but OGT secure the P2 spawns. Get on the P1 as well as Kampachi on a three streak, going to be on this objective, waiting for the Atlanta player to push up. Jordan going to be the first one pushed up towards the outside, gets taken down. The mid players get taken down as well. Germ with a nasty two. Two monster kills there, all four down on the size of side of Atlanta, and OGT picking up some nice, clean time. Yeah, this is a really good... A chunk of time here for the side of OGT and they're in position to make it uh, even harder for that team but Jordan able to find the two PPs and that's going to be a decent break there so he's going to be able to clean it up for his quad so now they've got to try to push through this dome area you got Skeety as the first man up he knows there's a player nearby he's going to try to stay alive for a second give his team some time to regroup maybe as uh, they try to push across here and you've got Tavia there to help him out and uh, F8 on a very nasty head there. He tries to skeet. He doesn't quite get it done. But you still got that back player in Kampachi who is locking spawns for OGP. So they're still close on the objective. F8's working some cheeky angles. He's there off the hard point. And the break is going to start to try and come through here for the side of OGT as Germ goes for another big two piece. He's not able to get it done. And uh, the spawns do flip out. For the side of OGT. So if you're a dazed fan, you'd really like to see this. And this is exactly what they needed to do to get back in this hard point. Yeah, nice little comeback on the way for the side of Atlanta Days. Only down by about 30 points right now. They pick up some monster time on P2. The P3 Roto coming in for OGT, but if the rest of this time is secured mm -hmm. by Atlanta Days, only gonna be down by a little bit. Moss with some nice clean shots as per usual. For the Roto 2 P3 well on the way. Germ gonna get some of those rotato potatoes on the way over, but Jordan. With the 6th Street, going to get that cruise missile in the back pocket, ready to get a few more. The push coming in from Atlanta Days. Two players pushed up, two on the way. Moss with the opening pick, and open things up for the players on the way. We're going to get another one. It looks like that's Zark getting taken down. Atlanta trying to get a little bit, a couple more kills here, but F8 going to pick up two. A couple more kills going back and forth. Atlanta securing the time for now. Atlanta's in the hill, but they've got a shark in F8 to deal with. He's just in the water with a scar right now. And the old guys are going to be able to push them off the hill. It's a lot closer of a hard point now coming off that P2. So now old guys are going to try to keep the pressure on and stack up some more time here. But Jordan is just being a brick wall over here. Finally, he's able to take out F8 in the water. Gets him uh, off the map. But you can see the rotation coming through from G. That kill, he's got a haul some. Get over here towards this P4 side. Maybe he heard Skeety. Don't know. I think he was maybe thinking there was a player behind him, but he might be able to find a timing on him here. This gunfight could be huge, as it could mean who's getting spawns on the side. As you can see, there's a couple members from OGT. Make that three members nearby. They may be able to sniff, uh, sniff, skew out here and secure these spawns. Set them up nicely for this next P4. Yeah, the P4 about to pop up. OGT going to have the initial spawns to be able to get that initial time. But another cruise missile inbound. Got to watch out for that. Dip, dive, and dodge. That thing's going to come in. Don't know if there's a... Nope, no trophies inbound. Jordan gets a kill with that. Another 
cruise missile kill. That's two on the map alone. Rare to see even one, so we get to see two is nice to see. But OGT trying to defend this one out. Atlanta pushing this one in. A couple from Broken. That's going to be Germ picking up one. Did see Skeety pick up two big ones there. Going for a third, but Germ trying to trade that one out. Help the teammates out. Zark with a nice little over the top there. OGT going to get their lead extended a little bit here. Just trying to get back in the comfortable zone as P5 about to pop. Atlanta rotating for that, but Fate ready to go for this. Seeing a couple players over towards the top side of P5. You really want Fate to try and get at least one or two kills here. He puts just big damage down, not able to come away with anything. He's got some teammates nearby that may be able to uh, make it a little mixy. I believe that is Germ on the side doing work. But Zark and the boys are going to try to get a break in through this point. And now the break comes through for OGT. They're able to get it. You've got a couple players left to deal with. Moss tries to get that two-piece and ends up coming away with it. F8 with some nice shots there. Almost look like he was turn on. But the break does come through. So the days are now back on the board. They're getting closer to that 200-point mark. And this hard point quickly and this one could flip all the way around here's so another days could get some very useful time but we're going to see some players trying to push this in germ who's 28 and 17 trying to get some free kills here picks up one good for some more the p1 about to pop up so that these players are going to have to rotate the last 10 seconds or so should go to ogt tavia's still there maybe in the position to do something but germ going to pick them off fate be the first player two p1 ready to make a move here some ogt players on the board ready to go 27 more seconds and OGT take this one, but Atlanta Days not ready to give that one up to get some of this initial bit of chow back and forth, but Fate, some nice sneaky shots there. Yeah, this is a big angles for Fate as he is just doing it all for his team right now. Just holding down those mid cuts and uh, OGT has now hit that 240 mark. They're getting dangerously close to closing this map out here. It's all in the... Not quite. Now you got Moss trying to see what he can do, and he's not able to close it out. The old guys, Texas, walk away with the series 3-1. Yeah, the 3-1 victory for OGT. They do a good job winning it in the hardpoint. Seems like a very good hardpoint team here in the first map. Mm -hmm.